YouTube at Zergo, and one of the most frequently asked questions I get about the Tesla, where we're in right now, is how do you use the autopilot? So I thought today I'd show you a little example of how it activates and just sort of the things about it. So first, the most important thing is if you're using it or wanting to use it, make sure you're on a highway with good clear markings on either side. And then what you basically have to do is on the car here, there's a couple of different levers. Um, this obviously, you know, is for turning, signaling, but right below it, they have a special lever here, if you guys can see. Bam, that's the autopilot one. So what I basically do, I'll just pull this up so I can drive a little bit better, is you pull this towards you twice, and that's what activates autopilot. Then you can press it up all the way, and that gives you basically five extra miles per hour on the autopilot or pull it down all the way and that slows you down five miles per hour or you just like tap it up or tap it down and it goes up or down by one. And actually it's not five, it rounds to the nearest five. So if you're at say 64 miles an hour and you press it up all the way, it'll go to 65. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just pull this thing quickly twice. And on the screen there, if you noticed, it uh, gives me a little warning saying, make sure your hands are there. And the two things up at the top lit up. It has on the left, the speed that it's set at. On the right, it has the, uh, uh, that it's doing the auto steering. And then it'll have also just, you know, the normal speed that I am going currently, because it'll actually match the car in front of me. So you can see right there that there's a car in front of me and they're slowing down a little bit. So we're slowing down too. And then uh, I don't even have the speed limit, so I'm currently set at the speed limit right here. And yeah, so they just actually turned. So <laughs> they turned off and now we're speeding back up a little bit. Uh, so yeah, it, what it'll do, you can see that the lines on either side are bright blue. That means that uh, it's able to fully detect the road. And then it basically, yeah, that, that's all there is to it, really. Uh, if I back out a little bit, you can see that when I'm in autopilot here, if it does, uh, you can see that it's detected a second lane right here. So there's a little gray line on that side. So I can actually go turn my blinker on and it'll actually automatically switch me into the other lane also there. So that's pretty cool. I've been using this quite a lot on the highway here and it's working really great. Uh, it doesn't work so well on uh, the off-highway roads at the moment. They're working on that, but it's made for highways at the moment here and yeah, just works really, really well. Um, it's uh, cool as I drive by things, you might have noticed. Actually, you can see right there that it lost the side of the road for a minute. Um, there wasn't great markings over on the side there. Uh, but yeah, it's still able to uh, use, well, it uses cameras. It has a bunch of cameras in the car. I believe this is one of the cameras there. There's a camera in the back, and then there's a bunch of radar and sonar around the side that it uses to detect everything. And as I drive by cars, you can sometimes notice um, where they uh, show up as a little blip here and there, and that uh, is when it's picking them up. But yeah, no, other than that, that's basically all there is to autopilot. Anyway guys, I hope that answers the question of sort of how to use Tesla autopilot. Thanks for watching, thanks for commenting, liking, and subscribing, and I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow. Take care.